The Focus ST is an impressive hot hatch with a lot of power for its price range. But if you really want to tear it up at the tracks, you'll want to upgrade your sway bar setup with this front and rear sway bar kit from Eibach. The front sway bar is 27mm in diameter while the rear is 25 both much thicker and stronger than stock for improved handling and steering response. The front sway bar will start with removing the front wheels, then getting underneath and removing the splash guard. After the splash guard is out of the way, we moved on to the downpipe bracket and its two 10mm bolts. Now to remove the rear crossmember, we had to remove the side splash guards from underneath the car for access. Your car might not have these, but remove them if so. Before removing the crossmember, we supported the subframe with a pull jack. The crossmember is out so we can move on to the support brackets on each side of the subframe. Through the lower control arms you can fit an extension to remove the upper bolts in the subframe of the car. Then using the pole jack set in place earlier, carefully lower the subframe a few inches. This gives us enough access to the three steering rack bolts that must now be removed from the car. After those three bolts are out, we moved on to the end link connections on the sway bar itself. And we also have access now to the sway bar brackets attached to the subframe. These can be removed to allow us to wiggle the sway bar out of the car. You can lower the subframe as much as needed to get it out, but it shouldn't require a bunch of room. With the new iBox sway bar, we must transfer over the subframe brackets and install them over the new bushings they supply. Be sure to grease the bushings where they meet the sway bar to prevent noise. The sway bar will slide in and set on the subframe just like the factory unit. Slide in the factory hardware through the subframe and sway bar brackets. Once all four bolts are started with their nuts, then you can fully tighten them down. Next move the steering rack by hand to align it back to the subframe and reattach the three factory bolts. Again, leave them slightly loose until they are back in, then tighten them back down completely. The upper subframe bolts can also be reinstalled loosely, followed by the side support brackets with its three bolts, the downpipe bracket, and the crossmember brace.
To complete the front sway bar install, reattach the end links to the sway bar and tighten down the nut. The rear sway bar is much easier to complete, so start with removing the end link from the ends of the stock bar. Move over to the center of the rear end to remove the frame brackets and take the stock bar out of the car. Just like up front, grease the sway bar where the bushing attaches to prevent any noise. Then add the new rear brackets to the bushings on the sway bar. Install the sway bar to the car and bolt down the frame brackets first. Attach the end links to the ends of the bar in your selected mount on the new sway bar, then tighten them down to finish up. Grab your own set of these iBox sway bars for your Focus ST by clicking the link in the description. If you would also like daily updates on everything we're up to, follow us on all of our social media pages.